Hi, this is Carson Gee from Formunculus, and we're going to go over uh, how this application works and just kind of do an overview of build, use, and review uh, a simple contact form. So we start off by going to the admin site uh, that's common in all Django based websites. Notice Formunculus shows up here. Uh, we're going to create a new form. We're going to call it not contact um, because we already have an existing contact form. After that, we just select start date and a stop date and um, select our viewers as me so that I can view this, the, the form and the responses. Uh, and that's pretty much it. After that, we save and edit the form and we get presented with the, the form editing screen, which has a list of fields on the left and a box in the middle that we can drag the fields into and that's how you build your form so first we want an email address I just drag that over there give it a label of email <coughs> and now we have an email field uh, also on a subject so I just grab a regular text field box and I would also like a large text area for a message so the user can put in whatever they want to say to me save and continue editing and that's it we built the form. We'll preview it to make sure it looks okay. Looks good to me. So we'll just switch over to the use part and we'll go ahead and fill out the form. So here we see a list of our available forms. Not contact shows up, so we'll go ahead and click that and I'll fill out some information. Uh, and we just go ahead and click submit. <coughs> I'm going to get a nice confirmation screen that's a default. Uh, this page is customizable as well as the form. And that's pretty much it. If we had marked notify reviewers, I'd be have gotten an email notification that someone would fill out the form. So now I want to review it, so I just go ahead and click review forms. My available forms to review show up here. Not contacts the one I'm interested in. And we can see the response that I just filled out here. Uh, you can also sort here, look at statistics as to how many form responses over time you've had, uh, download files if this uh, form accepts file uploads, and grab all the data as a spreadsheet, search it, etc. Uh, we can also drill down into a single form uh, in case we don't list all the fields that are on the form in the, the table there. And we can see when it was submitted. Uh, and the response to all the fields. We can also delete the application, print dialog, or we can add comments. And that's pretty much it. Uh, in a nutshell, it's fairly easy to use once you've got it all installed and set up. Uh, thanks for watching.